Hey, I'm Kimani with Vance Trade Designs, and today I'm going to show you all the steps I'm going to take to upgrade the air assist on my 80 watt CO2 laser. These steps should work with a variety of lasers, so stay tuned. So to upgrade your air assist, you will need a air compressor. Um, I have chosen the California Air Tools Ultra Quiet Air Compressor. I believe this is their eight gallon model. Um, this thing is great. It's like it says, it's ultra quiet compared to others. Uh, I'm gonna turn it on real quick. So that's about as loud as it gets. Um, I probably raised my voice just a little bit because I'm right next to it, but this thing is great. It doesn't take up a huge footprint in the shop. Um, this is, like I said, the eight gallon model. I think they make a bigger 16 or 20 gallon model, but like I said, this is about as loud as it gets with no alteration to the sound in post-production. So to get started, you're gonna need all your supplies. You will need tubing to connect everything together. Uh, this kit actually comes with the extra adapters you would need to connect more tubing together. You will need your regulator. Uh, the regulator is a device that manages the airflow coming from your compressor to your laser, you will need this quarter inch adapter. That's the adapter that's going to connect to your compressor and use one of these adapters as well to connect the hosing. You will need a solenoid and this kit comes with these two extra adapters, which you will attach here and here to the solenoid. The solenoid is essentially the on-off switch of the whole system. So when your laser turns on to start cutting, the solenoid will engage the air. When you stop cutting, it'll turn off the air, unlike your current compressor, which is just shooting out air the entire time. To complete the chain, you may need these block connectors. Um, some of the newer lasers already have it there, so we'll kind of cross that bridge with the block connectors. Uh, if you just don't happen to have one where it, everything needs to plug into. Um, you'll also need some uh, wire. Uh, some I use the black and red. Uh, I think I have 16 gauge right now. That's what I've wired up the majority of my machine with. So you'll actually need some of that, which I will show you in a second. So here we go. So just black and red, I believe, like I said, this is a 16 gauge wire. Um, and this is what's gonna connect the internals of the solenoid to the internals of the controller for the laser through the block connector. Like I said, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So for now, I'm going to start applying uh, tape on any fittings that aren't already taped and put all this together. I'll maybe do it in a time lapse or I'll just cut to the end because if you don't, you know, just in case you already know how to do this already. Okay, so I have my fittings on my solenoid, I have my fittings on my regulator. Uh, you may have noticed that I took the fitting off of here uh, to bring on here, and that's basically because um, I didn't buy enough of these fittings. So I have another one on the way, but I wanted to actually just get this together now uh, so I can continue with the process. But this one will be here tomorrow. I'll just, you know, show it real quick when it's all together. So it's not that big of a deal. All right, a little uh, movie magic. And now the piece that I didn't have that I ordered off of Amazon arrived in the exact moment when I needed it. So we now have our connect piece that goes to our air compressor. 
Imagine there's a tube here, connects to our regulator. Imagine another tube here, goes to our solenoid, which then will have another tube that goes to the air assist inside the laser. So now we're gonna take all of this over and start to put it all together for the laser. Uh, with your regulator, you get this metal collar, and I suggest mounting this somewhere where you can easily see your regulator and, you know, clear access for this connector so you can release any water that may build up in there. Um, and to connect it, I just mounted this on the side of a shelf that I have near my laser, but you just take this collar off here. Stick it in there after you've mounted it to wherever you want to mount it. And there you go. So now, as you can see, I have easy access to my hose. Uh, that'll go out to the compressor. And then the hose that'll go out to the laser is very close to the laser. Uh, so laser's right there. Regulators there, compressors on the floor behind me. So, moving on. So, now we're at the back of the laser. Um, on previous models, there was a hose connection here where the previous uh, air, would, air assist would come out of. But on this model, since they moved the air assist into here, what we're going to do is I'm going to attach the solenoid right here. So that's easy access to my regulator, which is above me. Um, and I'll just reuse the hose that's already running through the machine and route it through this hole. So it keeps everything managed. I'll also run my cable management through here. So that way um, all my wires and everything kind of shoot through here and we'll follow along this track into the back of the machine, which we'll get to in a later step. So I'm going to uh, disconnect this and run it over here and then make sure my solenoid fits. I'm going to use some of the like, you know, 3M double-sided strips right on the back to mount it right here and we'll go from there. So as you can see, I removed the tube from this little barbed connection. I just, you know, pretty much just put, give a little force and it comes right out. Um, I'm not sure if it's long enough. I'll have to check and see where it's connected up top. But if it's not, I do have all those extra connector pieces. So I'll just put a connector piece here, attach some of my extra tubing, and then route it out over here after I get the solenoid situated. All right. To get ready for the solenoid, we're going to need to run our wire. So you're going to need your... Uh, red and black or whatever color you decide to use um, and we're going to need to pull enough to go from here all the way around through the track system all the way over to here so measure that out however you want to do it you can use you know make it through the track system so it's all nice and clean there's also an upper system you could probably use so yeah measure that out and then have your wires at the other end so you have enough dangling for your solenoid. And we'll go from there. Right, so I have my wires here. Um, I haven't tucked them into the track yet, but you can see they go all the way around the machine. That gives me a little extra slack there. Um, and it all winds around to where it needs to hit into the control panel. So let's go ahead and work on the solenoid, which I will do this. This is a up close look at the solenoid. As you see, we have a in where it comes from the regulator and then out, which will connect to the tube inside the laser. This knob lets you adjust this left or right. Kind of whatever works best for your configuration. Here is the control module. So we're gonna run our wires down through here, this plastic cap. Take that out. And they are going to connect to these two connections. It uh, doesn't matter which one uh, for red and black because uh, this really just operates as an on off switch. So you're going to run your wires down through here, out of here, connect into here, and then 
put it all back together. So I'm going to do all that and show you what it looks like when it's finished. Okay, so here's where we are. The cables are ran. I started laying them down in the track. Uh, the black tube that used to be here didn't fit. So what I did was I took it, attached it to this little connector piece that came with the kit to more cord tube, brother. And tube came out the side and connected into there. So there's that. Now we're actually going to do the wiring of the solenoid to the controller. Now we're on the control panel side of the laser. I have, so earlier I ran my red and black cables through the bottom hole. Uh, I took the guard off and I'm running into this bottom track. Um, since the guard is off, this is the power cable that runs to the current air compressor. So I just went ahead and kind of followed that along. And I see here uh, it ends at this blue and brown connection, which actually connect into that controller box there. So uh, we'll go back to that after we get the uh, new wires connected, uh, which we're going to do over here. So on my controller, um, I have the RDC6422GB. Um, my connections are the 24 volt and the wind. Um, on the newer controllers, I know that they say uh, air assist here, um, but it's still, I believe, the 5.6 connector. Um, and so in, on the newer ones, I believe they already have this block here. There's nothing in the air assist that I believe on those, but yeah, you know, we they already have the block, so you won't need it. I went ahead and I have just a two block uh, connector that I'm going to uh, plug in. So I'm gonna go ahead, put my wires in there and put them right in here, butting up against this one, which is the five, six connection for here. Now we are going to remove the current power for the internal air system. So as I noted before, it's the blue and the brown wire. And we can see here, we'll count one, two. So the blue wire is sharing a connection here. The brown wire is sharing a connection here. I'm going to pop this guy off. Okay, everything's put back together. The old brown wire is connected on the left. The old blue wire is connected on the right. The black wires that are in there are actually connected to the fan. So definitely want to make sure those get connected back properly so that the fan works. I'm going to close this up now because I don't think I have any other upgrades that need wiring. And going to pull out the old cable, close everything up, run, cut some tube. So let's take a look and see what we got. So cables are managed, hose connected, hose connected there, up to regulator, which I'm about 20 PSI right now, down to the air compressor. 
Uh, time to turn the laser on and see what we got. All right, everything looks good so far. The fan's working, so I know I wired that back up properly. There's no air coming out of there whatsoever. So now I'm gonna load up a file and do a test cut. In Lightburn, you're gonna go to Edit, Machine Settings. I'm gonna scroll down. You're gonna highlight Vendor Settings right here. And a little drop down arrow, just in case it doesn't show up. And right here under, there is a section that says, Enable Air Assist Output. Now. When I started the cut, it was set to false, which means that my air assist did not kick on. So now I've set it to true. You hit right, it'll save, and then you can start your cut again and your air assist kicks on. Alright, so here are my test cards. This is my first ever test card. No upgrades. Fresh when I got the laser. This is the test card after I did my air assist upgrade. Um, now at first glance you may say, oh, you cut more holes on the previous card. Well, two things. One, this is a five millimeter piece of plywood this is a six millimeter piece of plywood so yes a one millimeter difference does matter when cutting material uh two as you can see there's a lot more scorch marks on here and uh the laser was not perfectly aligned so i actually had to redo some of the cut so that's why there's actually a scorch mark so there's a chance that not all of these would have been cut through originally the first time you know, even this guy's a little loose. On this one, look on the back, a uh, lot less scorching here a little bit, and it almost cut through on some of these bottom two. So not too far off, and like I said, it's a millimeter difference, but overall a lot cleaner cut. Hey, so that's pretty much the A to Z on upgrading your air assist for your CO2 laser. Um, automatically, I've noticed that there's a lot less smoke in the machine, which is great for my lungs and the lens inside your laser tube. Also, the cuts were a lot cleaner and the machine runs a lot quieter and less vibrations without this thing rattling around in the back. So all three of those are major wins uh, to do this upgrade if you haven't done it already. Um, I'm going to link to all the parts and pieces that I use down in the description. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please free, feel free to ask. Uh, if this video was helpful to you, please share it amongst your groups, your laser groups, whatever. Uh, like, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. Um, thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.